Anorexia nervosa, often just called anorexia, is an eating disorder and serious mental health condition. People who have anorexia try to keep their weight as low as possible and they might do this in different ways such as not eating enough food, exercising too much, taking laxatives or making themselves sick. This can make them very ill because they start to starve. Now, Men and women of any age can get anorexia but it's most common in young women and typically starts in mid-teens. Now, nail conditions are common in individuals with anorexia nervosa primarily due to malnutrition and the body's response to starvation. And whilst they're not always present, there has been an association with six nail signs that we're going to cover here, including photos to help you recognize them. So the first nail sign are bows lines. These are horizontal depressions or grooves in the nail plate, and they look like this, visible lines running across the nails. They're typically caused by temporary interruption of nail growth due to severe illness, malnutrition or stress, and in anorexia it could be due to a lack of dietary zinc. Now treating these means addressing the underlying nutritional deficiencies and managing the anorexia. As the individual recovers and nail growth resumes, those lines typically grow out and disappear. The second nail sign are brittle nails, also known as onychorexis. This is where you have increased fragility and tendency for nails to split or break. Now, typically, nails appear dry, easily breakable, and they may have vertical ridges in them. This is often a result of malnutrition, particularly deficiencies in vitamins and minerals like iron, biotin, and zinc. Now, nutritional rehabilitation is key here, along with possible supplementation of specific nutrients, and keeping nails trimmed and avoiding harsh chemicals can also help. The third nail sign is Cholionychia. These are thin, concave nails which resemble the shape of a spoon, and you can see examples of them here. Now, these are commonly associated with iron deficiency anemia, which can be a complication of anorexia. Treatment involves iron supplementation, both in the form of medications, but also encouraging foods which are considered to be rich in iron and addressing the overall nutritional deficiencies. Typically, the nails will return to normal as iron levels are corrected. Now, examples of foods which are rich in iron include beans and lentils, dark chocolate, iron-rich fruits such as dates, figs, prunes and raisins, leafy greens like spinach and kale, nuts, seeds, tofu and meat like steak. The fourth nail sign is leukonychia. This is a white discoloration with spots or streaks on the nails which you can see in these photos. And this can happen in anorexia due to zinc or selenium deficiency. Now the spots are usually harmless and grow out over time and zinc supplementation might be helpful. The fifth nail sign that can be seen is something called Terry's nails. This is where nails appear white with a narrow pink band at the tip. While it can be associated with aging, in the context of anorexia, it's often due to malnutrition and reduced blood flow. Resolving this is about, again, treating the underlying anorexia and improving overall health and nutrition. Finally, case reports in the scientific literature have highlighted nail clubbing in some individuals with anorexia. Finger clubbing is where there is enlargement of the fingertips and nails that curve around the fingertips, and this process typically happens in five stages. The first stage is where the nail bed becomes soft. Secondly, there are changes in the angle of the nail fold, so the skin beneath the cuticle that holds the nail in place. Thirdly, the nail takes on a more obvious curve. Fourthly, the end of the finger becomes thicker or club-like, thus giving it the name finger clubbing. And the final stage, grade five, is where the nail takes on a shiny appearance. Now, there are many causes of fingernail clubbing, including from heart and respiratory issues that are much more common than anorexia, but when it's present in the case of anorexia, it might be linked to underlying heart or lung issues. Either way, if an individual with anorexia has got finger clubbing, it requires a thorough medical evaluation to determine the exact underlying cause and appropriate treatment. Now, for all of these conditions, the primary approach is essentially to treat the underlying cause, which in this case is anorexia nervosa. This usually involves a multidisciplinary team management plan that addresses both the nutritional deficiencies as well as psychological aspects of the eating disorder. Dermatological treatments for nails are often supportive and secondary to the overall management of the individual's health. Now, for more information on anorexia, including where you can get help, please do see the description box of this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.